Now I know this is getting a bit complicated, but just hear me out. Right, so today we're going to be covering how to properly tag your YouTube videos to get more views. Now there are many people that say that tags have absolutely no effect on ranking. However, I disagree because if you do it correctly, it really does make a difference. Besides, it doesn't hurt your rankings in any way. In fact, do it right and you can greatly benefit from tags. So I personally make use of four different tools to find relevant tags. This is because I'm my own worst enemy at times. I spend way too much time on the nitty gritty details. It's unnecessary, don't be like me. So some of the tools that I use is vidIQ, TubeBuddy, Morning Fame, which is excellent, and a piece of software called Keyword Researcher Pro. Oh, and then of course, there's a free method called Keywords Anywhere, which I'll show you in a second. I'll add the links to all of these tools in the description below if you're interested in having a look at those pieces of software and services. So how to use those tools falls outside of the scope of this particular video. However, I will be adding videos in the near future as to how to use these tools. But again, you don't need them to get started. Right, so here's an example of what I would do. So go on over to a site called Keywords Everywhere. It's a free extension, so go on and install it. You do need to use either Chrome or Firefox, however, for this particular plugin. Right, so all you need to do is click on install for either Chrome or Firefox. It'll take you through to the Chrome web store or your Firefox store. Click on add to Chrome, add the extension, and it'll ask you for your email address. This is basically just so that it can send you an API key, and all you need to do is just enter that API key into the software and you can start using it. As I mentioned, it doesn't cost a cent. Right, once you've got your API key, all you need to do is click on the little OK, click on settings, paste your API key and click validate. Awesome, so once you've installed this little plugin, go over to Google or YouTube and start playing with topic ideas. So use it in Google and it'll show a ton of related phrases that people are searching for. Click on any one of them and it drills down further and further. Using this, you'll never run out of any topic ideas. So going back to YouTube and straight off the bat, as you start typing, it'll show you what people are already searching for. And you'll notice it shows the amount of searches a keyword gets per month as well. Now, while this isn't 100% accurate, it's about as close as 100% accurate you'll get. Google isn't going to give you everything you know. Now also remember that the suggested phrase is showing up within YouTube. It's YouTube basically giving you a list of terms that people are already searching for. So take advantage of this, especially when building out your tags. You can also use the alphabet and see what gets suggested to you. If it relates to what the video is about, use it. Now also in some cases you have to be a little bit creative so long as it's related to your video. Okay, so here's where things get a little bit convoluted. See there are two trains of thought when it comes to tags. So on the one hand I suggest you make use of all 500 characters that YouTube gives you for your tags. But on the other hand I also suggest that you only make use of one or two tags at most. Now I know this is getting a bit complicated, but just hear me out. Now if you choose method one and you fill up all the tags, that's fine. I have many other videos and as well as clients making use of that particular method and they're doing really well, so you're not wrong. However, if you choose to use method two of only using one or two tags at most, you're basically telling the YouTubes, listen YouTube, this is what I wanna be ranking for and this is only what I wanna be ranking for. And this also works great. Again, I've got plenty of personal videos as well as client videos using this method with great effect. So the strategy you use ultimately comes down to what you're trying to achieve. Do you wanna try and rank for as many keywords as possible? Fill up your tags. If I ever you only wanna rank for one or two tags or keywords, only use one or two keywords as your tags. So it's pretty simple actually. So always start your tags with your main keyword or title regardless of what method you follow. And if you choose method one, then obviously follow this up with phrases that are closely related to what your video is about. Now, I also do recommend adding your channel name at least once as well. Again, this just ties all your videos in together and helps with more and more of your videos being suggested on the sidebar as people watch your content. So here's a pro tip. Again, like I mentioned before, make sure your first tag is your main keyword or keyword phrase. Also, if you're a small channel, you wanna try and avoid single words as tags 
as you'll just waste your time. Now again, as mentioned before, you don't need any of these tools to get started. However, if you do want to save time, spy a little bit more on the competition, see what they do, I do recommend checking out these tools mentioned previously. Links will be in the description. And that about wraps up part four on how to tag videos properly to get views in the series on how to rank videos on YouTube. Oh, and it all depends on how I feel at the time of uploading this video as to what method I'll be using. So let's see how it goes. So remember to like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of part five in the series coming up where I'll be covering a little bit more on the advanced side of the settings when uploading YouTube videos. You know, the little settings that people tend to skip over. See you then. Ciao.